Okay, hello and welcome back to Tabletop Warp Gamers. This is another segment of For the Hobby. Now, I was going to be doing like bigger, like actually building terrain over the last few weeks, or actually it might have been over a month now, but it's been unbearably hot here and I had a few personal issues that got in the way. So I'm just releasing this video like as a little how to about how to paint amateur lava effect on shoulder pads obviously you can see the effect what I'm going to be teaching here now it's actually rather simple to do and like I said it's amateur it's not it's not a pro I'm not doing it in, to a pro level but obviously you can see it's zoomed in obviously with the camera but such an effect when just a bit further away um, as the pictures will show actually has a massive impact on a model's overall appearance so this is the finished one with the lava effect and I'm going to be doing it on this one and showing you how I do it with what paints I use and what method now I only use real I only really use Citadel paints now a lot of actual painters say oh no I use these and these and these but I learned how to paint with Citadel paints so they are the most comfortable ones and they are getting better each time they release a new set so in the description you'll find the list of paints I'm using I am also gonna um, say it obviously now I've covered the edges here in um, Screaming Skull just so it's easier to see the black bits and obviously I've done the black ahead of time so yeah if you just get, stay tuned and you'll get to see how I managed to pull the amateur lava effect off on this model and uh, make sure you like subscribe and leave any comments below about the technique or if you've got any suggestions for other videos for this segment, just for these kind of little how-to hobbies videos. Yeah, so if you stay tuned, thank you. Okay, yep, that's working now. Um, well... This is the first step of um, painting this lava effect. Now I'm going to start first by saying all my paints are watered down. And they water down basically a 50-50 ratio. Now I'm using as a start what used to be red go. Well I'm using red go because I've still got some. Um, I'm not sure what it translates to, but I will put it up as an addition on the video. It will probably just appear here in a moment. Now, for the base, after you've got the black, you want to start by doing a sort of lattice formation. Now this lattice formation should be random basically. You want to, can you see that? Oh, sorry. What you want to be doing with it is creating random, like little black segments that remain. Like, don't know if you can see it. Properly, or oh, went until it focuses. Hello, focus. But yeah, see that little black segment there, and you want to make these quite random in size and appearance. Always keep them small, but what you want to be doing is creating a lot of them. 
Now you don't want to make them too small so the other parts become actually more difficult to do but about that size mm, um, there right, about that size and you want to do this all over the entire pad or model that you're using this effect on see this is what I mean it's like that paint just dried straight away this is why I've be, it's not been a good time like recently to paint because this is actually a cool day where I am now you want to keep you want to apply this to make them quite definitive and you want to keep doing these like until it covers all the black but in like a lattice formation now I'm doing this on a shoulder pad specifically um, because I know more people play Space Marines I don't personally I play mainly Tau and Tyranids and I've got Eldar and Guard but it's these kinds of effects that I seem to be alright at doing but I then pick armies that don't use them. But, yeah. See, so you just continue with this until you have a full lattice work on the entire model. Now, I don't know if the camera will focus on it. Focus. Focus. Well, you can kind of see, even though it's blurred. I'm trying to make it focus. I don't know how to. Maybe that will. No. No. Maybe. Well, you can see the blurred version of the effect. It's basically that. See, this is my first ever painting tutorial, so I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's the first stage. So we'll just wait a moment and I'll move on to the second stage. Okie ducks. Uh, yeah, you can see it a bit better now. Um, this is the second stage. And now there's two ways to do this. There is the way to blend um, the red gold and blood red old paints. Once again, I'll put the actual new names up. Um, or you can add a little water to the already watered down blood red. Sort of makes it kind of watery, but this way is quicker. But you do have to be more careful with it. So I'm going to pick it up. So I'm going to do the quick way. Because this is an amateur video. Now, just want to very lightly, like that, go over the centre of the go red as best you can. Now you don't want to cover it all, but since it's more watered down, it will sort of naturally merge. Let's just do this now. It really starts to add the dynamic of the lava to it. And it defines as you can should be able to see the black bits which will be like the crusty see stuff like that now I did apply too much there once again part of the reason I'm an amateur <laughs> but still 
just got to persevere with it. Oh. Oh, no, sorry, I sort of moved it out of focus, but I just basically did the exact same thing that I've been doing, and you get that effect. Now, if you're using this method while it's still wet, the red, um, well, blood red, now you can add some either fiery orange or blazing orange, once again, I'll put the new name to it now for this section you just add it to the majority you miss certain bits now it doesn't add that much more of an effect but it obviously all goes together and kind of improves the effect now, oh, I nearly dropped it there. Right. Just to most of it, not all of it though. Now, as your brush will, but well, if you're doing it in what temperature it is here, <laughs> um, it will start drying out, so. You can keep adding a little bit of water to just make it seem, or to spread out the paint. It also helps merge the paint, from what I found at least. Once again, I'm sure there'll be some pros out there going, no, you're doing it wrong. But if there is, then... So what? I am saying I am an amateur at this, so... Now, just... Cover... I've actually covered most of it, but I'm just leaving a little bit. Now, that is the effect I end up with. Sure, it looks a bit lovely. But then we've got to wait for that to dry, because I've really watered that down. Now, I should mention that I am using an ultra-fine brush. Uh, don't show up. There we are. An ultra-fine brush. Now, it's like even classed as super-fine, I think. But it's an army painter brush. Oh, yeah. Super detail. Dun -dun. But it is an army painter brush because I do find they have more control available because they've got more different types of sizes than Citadel. But still, it's all good. Now, we will return when that fully dries for the next stage. Okay. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Okay, next step. Oh, well, the next step I do is a uh, fiery orange but once again blazing orange i did look up the name i think it was for the old paint but mine's dried out works just as well should have really looked up the new names but once again i'll post the new names up well i don't know why i just tapped my computer screen but <laughs> yep um, now this, you do want to water down further than an, an already watered down. But, to be honest, it's up to you. Like, it's all up to you about how many steps you want to take with it. So, I'm just watering it down a fraction more. So, if you're going off percentage, it's probably about 60% watered down. Now, you really want to be careful with this coat. Like it doesn't want to cover too much, mainly around the connection points like I'm doing here. Oh, 
but see, I haven't watered it down enough because it's too obvious. Like you can see, so now I've just watered it down probably to about 80%. Maybe that's the right number. Yeah. Ooh, it's like a bit too much. So 70% might be the magic number. Or 75%, whichever. But, like I said, all this is going to be is for the connection points. Not going right to the edge, but, all, but always going a bit close to it. Well, this is obviously my, what I do. Ooh. I'm sorry if this video doesn't quite work out. Like, it's why it's an amateur video. I don't have the control with hand with my hands that pros do. To be honest, my hands shake, so they might look things, but it's taking quite a lot of effort just to hold them as they are. Now, obviously, that's watered down, so that will dry and should be an okay base for the final two steps or is it three steps yeah. once more amateur but i don't really need to pause it now because what i'm going to do straight away is where i've had the um blazing orange or fiery orange going to add some real yellow which is a new paint so got the name right more <laughs> now it's up to you how much you add like i've just added quite a bit way too much but because i'm only trying to get a very very small amount to just sort of kind of highlight the connection points on for the larvae effect on kind of a bigger degree. Oh, maybe I did error in having the camera so close because it looks terrible. But once more. Amateur. That's the effect after you've added it and mix it in with the excess fiery or blazing orange. That's the effect that you end up with. Now, it's still not done. There's still one more, but you have to wait until that's fully dry in my opinion to do but the next two steps will be done at the same time because they are on different parts like one's on the black to clean that up and one's on the very tips of the connection point so we'll return just as that is fully dry because I can see a little moisture on it and I, you need it to be fully flat dry. Won't be long, be about five minutes for me, but instant for you. Whoa. Okay, so we're back. That's after it's fully dried. That is the current effect. Now, been looking at these videos back while it's been drying. You should know, obviously, a, like I've constantly said, amateur, but also B, this camera is quite focused on it. I tried to zoom out more, but it doesn't. So now add the second to end, 
all you real yellow now I'm just gonna put this here now it's already watered down like I said but I'm gonna water it down again the same amount so from start it's about 75% watered down now gotta get the excess off my brush just so it's the tip and yeah the tip that holds the colours now ah, oh sorry nudge the camera but you now all you want to do with this is a very light coat over the connection points just like before but it's very small this one like you'd notice just then that I brushed off any excess after the first one you want to make it as fine as possible and it's still coming out a bit too thick for my liking but there is a way to get ooh, to get around that now what I'm going to do now is just add pure water obviously on the bush that I didn't fully rinse out so it's still got some yellow but it's just water other than that I'm just going to stretch it out by going a bit deeper like once again the heat here but you can see that does come up with quite a lava effect now there's only one stage left to go left to go should I say and that is to go back over all the black now I'm gonna put a blob of black once again already watered down but then I'm going to water it down even further, just like the yellow. And I'm just going to go over the black parts. Like, mainly the central points. But that adds anything that's streamed into them. Also adds a bit of definition in my opinion anyway but my opinion might not be even worth that much but that's how I do it Ooh. see a blurred My phone failed. I'm trying to use another light. No, uh, but I kind of blurred on the effect of the black. But you basically just go over. Come on. I'm painting right in front of you. How are uh, Like you, no, oh, see, oh yeah, the moment I put my brush down, I picked it back up. All you're doing is just going over the black, oh come on! But all you're doing with the last stage, come on camera, you can do it. Yeah, is going over the black bits with a more black, just cleaning up anything that's spilled into it. Now, I'm going to show you a few pictures. Obviously, that's the effect done. It's all you need for the amateur effect of lava. 
well, on shoulder pads at least, you can adapt this same concept to, yeah, to bases, and not armour, whatever you want. But this is the very basic effect. The more you use it, obviously the better you get. <laughs> so you can go from amateur to more detailed, more pro. Now I'm going to show you, I will show you some pictures of how it looks compared to a model. Now I'll just remove that. And it will be on this space marine which I've had for quite a few years and now it won't focus focus okay, I'm just going to stand him up then nope that doesn't work put you there focus I hate this camera here yeah, we do oh now we rolled out a screenshot Focuses in there. You know what? Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope, nope. Oh no, that's the wrong button. Should help it. Come on. Focus. Just focus. Also, in the comments, if you have any technique on making cameras focus, Oh, that's right there. Obviously, this isn't highly detailed. Oh, great. But, it's an older space marine, but... See? It's got war. Um, that I did as a tester model for someone else. So, I'm going to show you the pic of what it looks like with that shoulder pad. Basically, what he's like now. Actually, I could probably do that now. Mm. No, don't quite work. Um, I'll show you a pic, like a proper pic, of what it looks like. And you'll see a few pics like this for the same effect with the same technique done on a few different bits. But that's it. So remember to like and subscribe. Especially if you liked this video. We do battle reports as well and occasionally rambles. We are coming out with a podcast soon. Oh, well, we've got the podcast, but we're coming out with the next episode soon. So, yeah. Remember to like, subscribe and comment on what you think of this video. See obviously well if you get enough comments we might do, i might do more effects of the same way by you know, trying to achieve them and post a video on how it works so until then ciao for now